Hey there, hey there, this is Patrick Ogunike, and um, I thought I'd shoot this video to talk about a, uh, a subject that came up with a conversation I had with a friend of mine earlier this week, and, you know, from the conversation I thought there's some, some potential gems that, uh, that might help, you know, that, that help me, and so I thought might help other people. Now, what we're going, you know, what I'm going to talk about is uh, something that actually affects pretty much anybody who's ever tried to do anything of value uh, in in the world at any point in time, and that's dealing with negativity, uh, particularly dealing with negativity from people that you know and you you care about. Um, I got a phone call from a friend of mine um, earlier in the week, and she was telling me that you know she's looking at doing some you know making some changes in her life and her career, and she was talking to her, she was, I guess, talking to her friends and family, and, uh, and you know, some of them were, you know, were questioning her and being kind of negative about it. So, you know, she was calling me for, you know, some, some positive reinforcement and that kind of thing. And, you know, we were talking, and, and I, I just, you know, told her about some things that, the way I think about negativity and the way, you know, I deal with it. Because, again, we've all gone through it if you've tried to accomplish anything. Um, especially because, you know, usually the people in your life in the beginning don't understand what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it in the first place. Okay. So, normally what you hear is you hear people, um, you know, in personal development, they, they focus on telling you, well, you know, surround yourself with positive people and, you know, get rid of all the negative people in your life and so on. And, you know, that's important. Uh, at least sur surrounding yourself with positive people, like-minded people, is definitely important. It's critical. But, um, you know, getting rid of people in your life is not necessarily good or healthy or, you know, it's not something that I, I advocate unless they're really, 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 really toxic. You know, you should get rid of them regardless of whatever you're trying to do in your life. Um, so, so um, basically... These, again, what I'm going to talk about is just some lessons that I've learned on how to deal with negativity and negative, negative situations, negative people. Number one is when you get down because um, because someone said something negative, your feelings are hurt or something like that. We often have the we often tend to beat ourselves up about it, like oh we shouldn't feel that way, oh you know being weak or or something like that. And the the thing is, you need to understand that you're human. We're all human. It doesn't matter. I mean, we're like, uh, you know, people who pretend to be positive and nothing ever bugs them are being un... Well, they're basically being... They usually will blow up somewhere along the lines. You know, you, we all need to let off steam. We all need to, you know, to... to. Sometimes we feel down. That's just the bottom line. So, and the sooner you kind of come to terms with that and forgive yourself, the actually, the sooner you start to feel better. And you start to get more positive. So number two is is um, what I call putting it into perspective. Okay, the first thing is um, that you need to understand that when people say stuff about you, when people talk crap about you, you know, to you or whatever it is, usually it has nothing to do with you. Um, what people say and think about you has is none of your business. That's uh, that's something I heard a long time ago, and, it, and it's really really true. So, for instance, when you're going to make a monumental change in your life, guess what? To the people in your life, it's scary. Especially to say you're going to move or, or something like that, or they think you're going to end up moving and leaving them, it is scary. And so as a defense mechanism, they're going to say stuff to maybe try to dissuade, you know, to dissuade you from it. And it's not necessarily on purpose that they're trying to be negative or trying to hurt you. They're just trying to protect themselves. So you need to understand that and understand if that, that they're coming from that, that w that's where they're coming from. And um, then you can you can actually feel compassion for their position. Okay? I hope, I hope that, that makes sense. You, it has nothing to do with you. In fact, they're not trying to hurt you. In fact, most a lot of times, especially if they're family and they're trying to they love you, they're tr actually trying to help you. They think they're trying to help you or protect you. So, again, um, you, you need to understand that they're coming from that. And if they actually knew that what they were saying was really hurting you, they probably wouldn't say it that way. So, you know, when you understand that, again, that lets you see it from a whole new 
at home from a whole new level. Okay, there are very few people that are really, really, really so negative that they enjoy hurting people. I mean, very few people. Okay, and those people are the type of people who you probably shouldn't be around in the first place. Those are what you actually do need to cut off from your life. Now, um, the next thing, the wind has blown over my notes. The next thing is that people often, you know, will say things of being, you know, quote unquote negative, um, usually because they don't, you know, or let's say they tease you or something like that. Usually it's because, and that often happens again with family and friends who have known you for a long time, and it's because they see you, they don't see the change that you've made, okay, the person that you've become or the person that you're becoming. All they see are, is, um, is who they knew you as, the, the, you know, the clumsy kid or the, the one who had trouble with their homework or, or you know, the one who was a goofball or whatever it is that you were at, a, at, a, at one point in your life, they don't, you know, they have trouble seeing, you, seeing beyond that. And again, that is something all of us deal with. And if you look at yourself and the way you behave with your friends, you'll, you might see that you do that too. So again, they're not, you know, they're not actually trying to often, you know, they're almost never trying to actually do anything. They're, it's always just based on how they see you and what, how they feel about themselves. Um, so at the end of the day, so what's the bottom line? The bottom line is that when you feel hurt by someone, um, you know, what they say, what you need to understand is they don't have any power to hurt you. And this is this some metaphysical, you know, they, you know, uh, no one can hurt you but uh, yourself or something like that. It is because the only reason that whatever they say hurts you is because part of your brain thinks it's true or fears that it's true. They, you fear that you will fail. You fear that no one will like you. No one will like what you, you know, what you do. No one will buy your product. No, your, your whatever the heck it is that you're dealing with. And because if you actually had complete faith or belief in whatever it is that you're doing, okay, nothing anyone could say would ever really. You just laugh at them and go, uh, yeah, okay, whatever. Like for instance, if someone was to tell you, well, you know what, when I throw this this brick, it's gonna float up. You'd be like, oh, okay, sure, right? You're not you're not gonna take them seriously. You're not gonna you're just gonna laugh. You're not gonna be like, oh, I'm hurt because they think that things float. You know, so you know, so that that's the difference. When you when you feel hurt, it's because part of your brain is has fear that you that you know whatever they're saying is true. Okay, so again, you need to understand that. And you know, the only way you're going to get over that is by actually pursuing the thing that you're you're scared of. Okay, if you truly believe that you want to accomplish the whatever it is. You just need to start doing it. You know, you take the next step. I always, you know, I always say you take one step at a time. That's how anything is ever done. And this, is, this is how, what I believe is what, how I work. So, um, you know, so when you understand all those points, you know, you understand their perspective. You understand that they're not actually trying to hurt you. They're actually trying to help most of the time. Um, and you understand that where the fear comes from, from you, the hurt, that, that what's that, what that's actually connected to, if you actually think about what motivates you and what you're scared of and what you want to be like, things you admire and things you fear, things like that, you, you get to understand how to control and see this negativity stuff from a different perspective. And that's what it's all about. And that, when, you, when you do that, that's when you actually get control. So, again, I hope my ramblings um, made, made sense, um, you know, uh, and if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. If you're seeing this on YouTube, if you're seeing this on my blog, feel free to do the same thing. Like, share, subscribe, and, um, you know, um, I really, I, I hope this made sense and I hope this helped. All right, so I will see you at the top.